Hello once again everyone. Uh, if you remember I did a video on this Ford mechanism a while ago and I've had a lot of people asking me questions about things that I didn't cover in the original video. So, um, and some of those things require to having to take this apart a little bit further than, than what I covered. I'm not doing a repair here. I'm just going to show how to take this unit apart even further if that's what you need to do. And you know, some things to keep in mind, things to check. So, we're just going to jump right into it. Um, I want to keep this video kind of short because I don't want it to drag on forever and I just you know want to go over some stuff real quick. So we've assumed here we're going to assume that you've already taken this top off and that you've kind of you know got this like reset into position as I showed in the other video. On this one here we got to make sure that this gear is set to S. On some I've seen it's a G. It I guess it just depends on the mechanism you have. Okay so once we've got it to this point we want to go on the bottom here. And actually another thing we're assuming also is that you've removed the the gear that's uh, normally sitting here in the front. This one right there. So we've removed that gear. Uh, okay, well, well, I'm, well I'm in the subject of that gear. One thing you might want to check is this one right here. And this one's actually missing a tooth and it's cracked and that causes issues with this mechanism. So you might need to get to that gear there if you happen to have a spare from like another unit or something and you need to replace it. Um, I'll show you how to get to that one there. It requires the removal of these two screws, but we're not going to deal with that just yet. We'll get to that in a minute. So once you've got it to this point, again, uh, you'll need to remove this ribbon here, which we'll just loosen that up for now, and these two in the back. So we'll undo those because we don't want to tear them. The one up here in the front is particularly like fragile and I've actually torn a couple of those on accident. Uh, luckily I had like some spare the mechanisms that you know had a good one so I just uh, swapped it from that. But we want to undo those. We want to pull these out actually. And you kind of need to be careful with this one here. This one I believe is the one that actually has a laser. Normally you'd want to jump that with some solder but we're not going to worry about it here. And then you need to unstick this piece from here. Uh, there are two small clips on this little white piece right here and those you just kind of pull out a little bit and then you lift up on it like that. This one here, it's actually a lot easier if you just like do it with your finger or something but I'm just kind of trying to keep my fingers out of the way so you can actually see what I'm doing. So you just pull these up and that allows this to come right up. There's a little, uh, there's these two little sort of like fingers here that hold this ribbon like in that little slot. So maybe just make sure that that kind of stays in there so it stays in place. So you've taken those out and now we need to be able to move this whole assembly here. This whole inner assembly actually comes out. To do that, we're gonna have to flip it back over. We're gonna have to undo these two screws that I mentioned before that if you wanna take this apart even further, you gotta remove them. So we take this one out, and this is the shorter of the two, so make sure you put that back in the right position. So that's one, and that's two. This comes out, that just lifts up, set that aside, and that allows these, this, these little like step plates here on the, on the uh, front and the back to move into the position where these little pegs will actually come out. So once you've got that, you can just pull these straight up. It's a little, can be a little bit tricky, especially because they, there's two pieces. There's this one in the front, this one in the back, and they're uh, held down by this uh, little spring here, and that's actually the one that kind of keeps it in its, in its uh, chosen spot. So that comes out, and then we take the ones off the back. So that comes off, and then this one, same thing. There's a little tab right here that fits inside of this little cutout on the front and the back. So just make sure that you know you get those right. I mean, it really can only go in one way, so you're gonna get it right regardless. So that's that. When you're putting this back together, you gotta keep in mind that this peg here fits over the outside, or I mean fits um, inside of uh, this uh, vertical slot here on this uh, piece of linkage. Uh, I've accidentally put it in before where this this whole linkage was actually on the inside of that and of course that doesn't work. You got to make sure that this stays on the outside and same thing with this side here. It's got a similar piece. This has to go on the outside, not on the inside because that'll cause a lot of uh, friction and then this thing doesn't move. Alright, so we got those undone. We got the, this ribbon undone. 
and we need to now be able to remove these two sort of like little fingers right here. There's two of them, one on each side, and those are the ones that grab the disc when it's, uh, you know, like moving into a particular position and it needs to like hold that disc in place while the uh, spindle comes in and grabs it. Those have one screw each. There's one back here, so that just comes out. And then the one in the back is covered up by this plate. So you need to undo these three screws right here. One, two, and three. Okay, now those three are out. Now this, again, will just lift up, but you need to move this whole inner assembly upwards so that it it's gonna go into those slots right there where it can this piece can be released so that comes off this whole plate in the back comes off and here's the other screw you need to remove right there so we take that one off and that will allow us to pull this piece out which is one of the ones that moves that that whole little sort of like um, grabbing mechanism so that comes out that We'll release this piece here. You can lift it up and then this just, once it's all the way at the top, as you can see, it's a, the circles are a little bit bigger up there. So that can come right out and trying to do this behind camera is really kind of difficult, but there it goes. So that one's out. And now the one on this side, you need to kind of lift up and pull it out towards the front. before you can actually pull out the the metal piece. So there's that, that one comes off, and now we can remove this piece. Okay, so those are out. Now that should be most of what you need to do to free up this inner piece. So this, as you can see, is pretty free to move around. You need to pull up on these, uh, I don't even know what these are called, but whatever, um, these little sort of uh, cutouts, you need to pull up on these and you need to pull on that one too and that will let you lift this up and add it here. If I could actually see what I'm doing, I might be a little bit more efficient at it. It should just come up. I'm having kind of a hard time here. Oh, and if uh, this little piece right here is kind of catching, you can just sort of like pull away on it a little bit and release it as you can see right there that fits inside of that cutout but once that's released it allows you to lift this up like so and now that ribbon that I was mentioning down at the bottom before you remove it even further you need to make sure that you pull it away from the metal part because it's stuck on with double-sided tape and if you don't remove it and you pull this out um, hard enough this will tear so once that's done and you can pull this out just kind of move it out of the way so that it doesn't get damaged. And now you should be able to just sort of pull this out. You gotta be gentle though. I mean, don't force the thing. If it's not coming out, you know, try to find out what's holding it back. And once it all comes out, and then the, these uh, two little pegs right here in the front come out of the front slots, this whole inner piece just comes out like that. So there's really not a whole lot that I've seen go wrong with this piece. So a lot of the times you can kind of just set this aside. Uh, maybe if there's like a lot of dirt in these slides here, you know, you might need to lube them up a little bit or whatever. These just come out like that. So, you know, just kind of keep those together. There's not a whole lot. Like I said, you really need to do with this piece. So once that's out, you can just set it aside. And now we've got the rest of this thing. If you need to remove these plates, it's actually easy if you just uh, kind of pull these out of the way and you just kind of pull these pieces kind of off to the side and that'll release them. And then this should just kind of slide up like that out of those rails. And this whole uh, piece comes out as a entire assembly just because it's held in by these springs. Like that. So that stays together, you can just set that aside. 
So now we can see the whole bottom of the rest of the mechanism here. And like I said, you might need to get to that gear. And if you need to do so, you can do that easily by taking off these two screws. I got one right there. And that releases the whole little sort of sub assembly. So now you can get to that. You undo that clip, that gear com comes out. And as you can see, this one's got a, a broken tooth. So this one's bad. <laughs> if you want to remove the whole thing, you can just unsolder it from here. That pulls out. I'm not going to bother doing that because I'm not messing with it much. And I'm actually just going to put the screw back on just to hold it in. If there's anything that you know you need to look at underneath that cover, if you haven't taken the cover off yet, sometimes you can take it off just by before you even undo everything else. There's three screws here and here, and then the one I just removed. So once those three are out, this will just lift up. It's got a little tab on the back that fits inside of that slot right there that goes to underneath. So lifts up, comes right off. And now you have access to that big gear that positions uh, pretty much everything in this mechanism. And if you need to do anything with that, you can just rotate it counterclockwise. It might be a little difficult here sometimes, so some of these things you might need to kind of move manually. As you can see it's uh, there, it's at the end. So once you've got that gear in this further uh, counterclockwise position, you can remove this clip in the middle. Just be careful not to let it like snap out of here and you know you lose it so set that aside and uh, when these are in the right spot then you can lift this whole gear out and it's a little you got to kind of like make sure that these are out of the way there's some like that one right there that has a spring that's uh, kind of loading it so that lifts right off and that's uh, the underside as you can see it's uh, it can only go in one way because it's that's a kind of it's punched in there so it's it can only go in the this side down so there's that we can set that aside all these linkages in here it doesn't matter if you kind of move them around you know like up right here I'm just gonna kind of you know like put them wherever how you can uh, tell where they're supposed to go is by making sure that these holes line up with the hole that lies underneath it so that one there that's its position this one here has got his hole right there. As you can see, this one can move uh, left and right. So you got to make sure that that hole lines up with that hole. And for this piece here, you got to look at this one up here. So as you can see, that hole right there matches up with the hole underneath it. So as these move around, you can see that it's that they line up as well. But this whole piece here drives both of these and that one right there. So as long as this one's in place and these haven't popped out, then you can be sure that as long as that one's in the right spot, that these will be in the right spot as well. And this one here in the back that can move left and right, this is the one that brings in the, the uh, spindle assembly and um, laser pickup. There's a hole right there and then there's a hole in the bottom. So you kind of bring this over, make sure that that hole lines up and you're set. So, not a lot to it. This one here, hole right there, but since this one's spring-loaded, as long as uh, the spring is in the right spot, or I mean, I mean as long as the spring is uh, in its position, then it gets pulled down into that spot. And this is the one that drives those uh, switches on the bottom. So you can get to it from there. So, I mean, that's about it. There's, um, not a whole lot else you can do in here. I mean, you can you can remove like that clip right there to be able to remove this whole assembly if you need to. And then just um, to put them back, you know, you just gotta make sure that the little pegs that are here, here, and here all line up with their respective spots on these uh, plates that move. So I hope that helps some people. And uh, if you haven't, I mean, if you haven't seen the, the rest of this, it's in the other video. Like I said, I didn't wanna make this one too long. And uh, so most of the other stuff is covered in the other video. So before we end this video, there's a few other things I should probably cover. When you put you know everything uh, back in place here, make sure that the switches, that the little tabs are on the outside of this uh, sort of like semicircular piece. And you know you can kind of push those inwards and then they'll sit outside because a lot of the times if this has been lifted up, 
then those tabs are actually going to be underneath that and they're not going to be activated the way they're supposed to and then you know you, you might have some other problems so just kind of push those away with something and then push down on this and you might hear the little click here when it drops down into place as you can see so now all those switches are in the right spot um, this has a little bit of a freedom to kind of like move up and down and that's why it's got this sort of like little cover here to keep that from moving around and uh, losing its uh, place with these switches so keep that in mind and also when you go to put this uh, top spindle so assembly back together with these slides you've got to move these so that they sort of line up with these uh, plates here on the front and the back and also make sure that these pegs right here haven't come out of their uh, their, um, their slots because you're going to have a bit of a hard time with this one here because they have a really bad tendency of wanting to pop out and then you might get one that's like outside and you're going to have a really hard time trying to get it in so make sure that those stay inside um, as well as the ones in the back so as long as like you know it's not like all the way to this one here like all the way to that far right or this one all the way to the rear then you should be somewhat okay so to put this back in first of all make sure you're not gonna pinch this uh, ribbon here against anything or you know cut it on accident so there's two little the pegs here on the front you want to get in these slots you start you um, it's a lot easier if you kind of start from the front so you get those two in the slots there and make sure that these are well kind of, make sure that these are in the right position you know to be able to drop down into the, their place right there but you want to still start off in the front here and get those pegs in their slot like that you're gonna to have to hold some pressure up against the front because those are gonna to want to pop out too and then you need to get these to fit in right behind this one here needs to go right behind that back plate there and this one needs to go on the side here so you got to get those in place this one here this peg is going to be sort of blocked by this tab right there so you just kind of have to like pull this outward a little bit and uh, apparently I got to cut somewhere so well got to clean that up there's a lot of sharp pieces on this as you can tell so you just got to be careful not to cut yourself I don't even know where the heck I cut myself huh oh I guess it's that's where the cuts at so yeah, I'll just be careful with that finger. So once that's in place and this has uh, slid in, it should be pretty easy to just drop it in. But the one in the back here, you have to be a little bit careful with because this has a really sharp edge and it tends to want to dig into that plastic. So you just sort of have to like pull away on it a little bit just to make sure that it doesn't shear off with like a bunch of plastic. And at the same time, you sort of have to like make sure that everything's kind of going into place properly. As I mentioned, uh, there's a little bit more blood right there. <laughs> you want to make sure that this one stays on the outside so that that little peg can fit into it. And as well as the one in the back, make sure that it fits out on the outside of this piece, not on the inside because they have a terrible tendency of wanting to go on the inside. So once those are in, the rest of this mechanism should pretty much just drop into place. You got to make sure that that little tab right there kind of drops into that one and now the whole rest of the assembly just drops into place now you can kind of go in here and you can get that ribbon to go underneath that board so you can reconnect it, it kind of helps if you have some tweezers or something like this and just bring that out through the bottom I wouldn't worry too much about trying to double-sided tape that back on because I mean it really doesn't go anywhere it just sort of stays in place because of its uh, sort of like springiness and make sure that you Clip that back on there so that stays in place and as you can see now we can uh, do that on the bottom there I'm not gonna bother with it I just wanted to show how to you know put that back in place so like I said hope this helps somebody if uh, you know you really need to take it apart further like that you gotta make sure this is um, sitting straight in there it was a little bit tilted but I mean that's about it so that's how you can pretty much get to the rest of it if you need to um, and uh, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.